Hi, how you doing? You doing all right? Yeah, talk about werewolves. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I just wanted to do what you were all asking. You all wanted to see the werewolf collection. So here I am sitting in my room and uh, you can already see a few right there. Don't, don't zoom in, don't look. Let's talk about some werewolves, guys. Who's ready? You ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Number one, we're gonna go over the kids classics. And that is Teen Wolf with Michael J. Fox classic and then of course following is Teen Wolf 2 with Jason Bateman I've never seen this movie before I have heard it's not good but you know what huge rest development man I'm gonna give my bro Jason the benefit of the doubt let's move on you guys know the series you love it or at least the first one and that is the Howling series yay Joe Dante thank you for starting and making a great movie this is in my top five of super ranks but I love that artwork too guys super cool and of course the Howling 2 with Sybil Danning. This movie's insane. How did they get Christopher Lee to be in this movie? I do not know. Might have been a paycheck movie. Next one, The Howling Trilogy. What? I've heard these are terrible. The Rebirth, the Marsupials, the Freaks. I'm just gonna make a big old bowl of soup. I'm gonna sit down and I'm just gonna chow down some soup watching The Howling Trilogy. Not gonna do that. But I might watch them sometime. Next up, oh, let's go over some werewolf movies that don't necessarily have werewolves in them but it's dealing with the werewolf legend. It's, it's kind of skating around it. There, there's werewolf stuff in it. And the first one is Blood and Chocolate. There's no actual standing man, you know, lichen werewolf thing in this. It's basically, they just turn into wolves and they run around. And uh, it's kind of, a, kind of a young adult feel, but you know what? Tear it apart if you want. Next one, Monster Dog. This movie, guys, is hilarious. Alice Cooper goes home with his band and uh, there's this legend of his family and everyone in town kind of looks down on him a little bit, but he's made the big time. And he's, he keeps having these crazy dreams where he's seeing himself turning into this like werewolf man dog thing. It's the title Monster Dog. And it, what's also hilarious is that this is an Italian production and Alice Cooper's voice is not in this movie at all, except for the two songs. They dub him over. Why? I do not know. And it does not, it does not fit the vibe. and It just doesn't gel. Anyway, Monster Dog Guys with Alice Cooper. I recommend it if you want to, you know, have a couple laughs with your friends. The next one is The Hound of the Baskervilles with uh, Peter Cushing and uh, Christopher Lee. This movie is incredible. It doesn't have an actual werewolf in it, but it has those vibes. The werewolf is kind of like the hellhound in it, kind of the scourge of the countryside, taking this family out through the centuries. So, yeah, check it out. Hound of the Baskervilles, super cool. Last one, actually, I don't have any more of those. I thought I did, but I don't. So we're moving on to the classics, and that is the Universal Monsters set. Werewolf, Lon Chaney, boom, the original. Got things kicked off, so thankful for that. And you know what, in the new Universal Monsters thing that we're missing out on, I'm really sad we're not getting uh, a retelling of the werewolf, you know? <sighs> really bummed out about that. Hopefully it would have been good, we don't know. But Spain, their answer to Lon Chaney was Paul Nashi. Forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. I, I don't know, I'm just women it here. Women it? Paul Nashi collection here has the Night of the Werewolf. And uh, yeah, super cool set. And that's a movie I was actually hunting down and trying to find for a while. It came out on Blu-ray and I was like, yeah, I'm getting that. Next up, let's go through the comedy stuff we got with Werewolf. The first one up, Hilarious, Wolf Cop. Such a funny movie. The second one I think is coming out in like a couple of months on Blu-ray, so Wolf Cop, boom. The next one that really just strange and basically the devil shows up into town and he's uh, trying to, you know, make people do crazy stuff and Bubba the Redneck Werewolf is his only, you know, foe that can stop, stop him. And this movie is ridiculous. The theme song is amazing. Bubba the Redneck Werewolf. <laughs> Got nothing else to say. Um, the other movies that I have that kind of feature werewolves, but it's not all about the werewolf, um, but they're in it. And the first one is Van Helsing. If a guilty pleasure movie, you know, exists for me, this is it. But like we've, we've all heard and said before, guilty pleasure movies, it doesn't matter. You know, like if you like it, you like it. And I like Van Helsing. The CGI it absolutely sucks. The dude that plays the lead bad guy, the vampire, just totally overacts. But you know what? Peckinsale's cool. Hugh Jackman's awesome, and the werewolf is, you know, CG, but it's still kind of cool. 
Um, the next one is classic, and that is the Monster Squad. Wolfman's got nerds! It's so good. This movie is one of my favorite horror movies in general. And uh, yeah, Wolfman looks really cool in this movie too. So I dig that. And then the last thing is the, um, before we get to the movies I haven't seen yet. The, there's a decent stack. Don't make fun of me, Jason. And that is this. Is this comedy classic amazing film young frankenstein has my favorite line about a werewolf and that's the werewolf werewolf love it it cracks me up every time had to include it somewhere so get it yeah okay moving on to the movies i haven't seen i'm going to move on kind of quick because i haven't seen them i don't have anything to say about them werewolf the beast among us i've not seen that i have not seen the boy who cried werewolf have you guys seen that? It looks kind of old school, 50s, 60s-ish. That werewolf is funky looking. Look at that dude. He looks kind of like a some sort of one of those weird like Pekingese dogs or something. Wolves with Jason Momoa and Havoc from X-Men. Boom! I've not seen that. It kind of looks and sounds like a retelling of the Howling. Like kid going home and there's like a clan of wolves that werewolves hiding out. Anyway. Wolf Guy, haven't seen this. It's supposed to be an insane movie. Sonny Chiba, it's like he, he's descended from a line of werewolves and he has the superhuman, superhuman, super lichen strength and he can just do whatever and heal and he's super strong. But it's supposed to be hilarious, cheesy, funny stuff. I need to check that out because that's right up my alley. Next up, what is this? The Beast Must Die. That's what it is with Peter Cushing. And that werewolf right there, every time I see that, did you guys ever see the Narnia BBC series when you were growing up like with the, the people and beaver suits and all that stuff that wolf looks just like that werewolf in the BBC Narnia series that freaked me out as a kid he would be like Rah! and just screaming at the kids and he would turn it into an actual wolf and run, run away but then he'd turn into a man wolf and stand ah he looks just like that anyway I had all these traumatic childhood things swarming back in my brain when I saw that Cursed, Wes Craven, he's my second favorite horror director. Not seen this. Christina Ricci, though, is awesome. Joshua Jackson, I love the show range, so dig him. Uh, but Cursed, I need to check that out. Next up, The Where. That's not what it's called. It's called The Beast Within. And uh, I've not seen this either. It looks like a coming of age werewolf movie. I mean, look at that guy in the back. He's definitely turning into something. And then we've got Blood moon it's i think it's the same thing like coming of age but a girl werewolf you guys can't see that blood moon next thing people were talking about this today a little bit wolfen i have not seen wolfen i have not seen wolfen next up wolf man the new one with good old benicio del toro and sir anthony hawkins so i have not seen this oh wait oh there's no shoes in this movie too you know what I'm talking about? Why Emily Blunt? Why am I blanking? I saw her face on the cover there and I was like, Emily Blunt? There you are. Okay, next movie. Wolf. I don't even know if this is a werewolf movie, but it's called Wolf. Jack Nicholson is great stuff. Michelle Pfeiffer is great stuff. So I'll have to give that a try sometime. And if it's not a werewolf movie, I will still be happy because they're both awesome. Now Jason recommended this to me. Big Bad Wolf. He said he's the Freddy Krueger of wolves and he taunts you. And talks and uh, I was like you know what it's a werewolf movie and a talking wolf movie gotta get it big bad wolf guys check it out it's like eight bucks on Amazon um, and then the last one you guys are gonna you're gonna cyber slap me I know you're gonna cyber slap me and that is Stephen King's Silver Bullet I haven't seen this yet every time I have a movie night like this has been a third movie we're gonna watch and then it all falls apart because everybody's like I'm tired I'm going home and then I'm like, wait, Silver Bullet! And then they all go home and Silver Bullet he doesn't get watched. So very soon, I'm going to watch you, Silver Bullet. Okay, moving on to the last section here. It is my favorite werewolf movies. And Silver Bullet might make that sometime. But right now, it's in the... No I've never seen it pile. So sad. First up in my alternates, my honorable mentions, is... The Company of Wolves, and this movie is super cool. It's kind of a fantasy horror movie, um, kind of a retelling of 
uh, Little Red Riding Hood, kind of a, uh, another tale of coming of age, a woman coming into her own and blossoming and growing. And uh, there's a creepy werewolf in it. And this scene, you, and this what you see on the front right here is an amazing scene. Werewolf transformation it is wild stuff. So it feels like kind of like a nightmare, this movie does. But yeah, check it out. Company of Wolves. Next alternate, really enjoyed this movie. British werewolf movie, Howl. Pretty cool stuff. Look at that. Werewolves look amazing in it. They're crazy looking. Um, next one up. My movies are out of order, so let's just uh, kind of move. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Ginger Snaps. This movie is awesome. Really surprised me. I haven't seen the sequel, but this movie, super dope. You guys have probably all seen this movie. I'm not going to talk about it, but Ginger Snaps. Good stuff. Next one is Night of the... <laughs> Messed that up. Late Phases, Night of the Lone Wolf. I think Jason was saying that around the world it's just known as Late Phases. Did not know that. But this movie is amazing. Blind army vet up against a werewolf. A really crazy looking werewolf. And it is something else. He's preparing. He's getting ready for that thing. It's awesome. You guys, check that out. Of course, next one is The Howling. Joe Dante's The Howling. Classic, epic movie the werewolves look amazing with the wispy long ears with the you know the wispy hair kind of hanging off so cool love that movie and Dee Wallace she's just like she's like Hollywood's mom in the 80s and 90s she's great next thing we've got this is a lot of people's number one it's my number three and that is American Werewolf in London so awesome also get this edition guys it's the restored edition the picture looks incredible it is amazing yeah, guys, the scariest scene to me, and this isn't even werewolf stuff, it's definitely that dream sequence with the Nazi pigs going in. They're just like, ah, taking people out in that dream. Kind of freaked me out a little bit. Number two, it is an amazing film with an amazing animatronic werewolf. The hero is this German Shepherd, and it is just all sorts of kick butt, and that is Bad Moon. This movie so surprised me. Jason Smith recommended it to me, and I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. And I saw all my eyes were open because this movie is friggin' awesome, guys. Bad Moon. Pick it up. Seriously, pick it up. I'm not telling you any more about it. It's not a very long movie, but it's definitely one to watch like three times, four times a year. Okay, next, uh, next movie, my favorite number one is Dog Soldiers. Holy cow, I love the camaraderie between the soldiers, the soldiers in this movie. They're out on a mission. Um, not even like a mission, they're out like basically as fodder for this main, like the Scot Scottish Marine Corps, basically whatever they have over there. And uh, they come across them all dead and they don't know what the heck's going on. And of course there's werewolves and the werewolves look amazing. They're slinky in the way they move and they're long and lanky and uh, yeah, they're terrifying. Really crazy gore in this movie. But the thing that really drew me together was definitely the camaraderie between these soldiers and what they're uniting up against and how they're fighting for each other. But the werewolves are just amazing in it. So favorite, favorite werewolf movie right here. One of my favorite horror movies in general right here. And that's it guys, that's my werewolf collection. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. It's around like 13 minutes, so if you watched it, you are a soldier. Dog soldier. That's how I'm ending it. Eee!